In the blue lane, on my right, our eighth seed from Indianapolis, Indiana, Eric Shepard. And to my left, in the red lane, our number one seed and top qualifier for the men, from Lakeville, Massachusetts, Noah Munier. Noah Munier, as Greg just said, is our number one seed. Not only that, he was the number one seed after round one and then went out and beat his time. And he beat his time by like 30 seconds. Eric was unable to complete the course uh, in the qualifier in either of his runs, so he has a tall task ahead of him if he wants to beat Noah. Noah was two of our three analysts picked to win the whole thing. It starts with round one, and Eric is going to have an advantage as Noah grabs the back of the net. A change in strategy, I believe, from yesterday. Yeah, that certainly was. Eric, Eric. with a great wow. pull on wagon wheels. Oh, they are wow. at identical times to the boardwalk, and now Eric's going to go for the boardwalk first. Wow, interesting. Noah does a quick rest for chalking up, but Eric is taking the lead here. I think he just knows what Noah's capable of and knows he has to go for it. A quick rest from Noah. I think Noah realizes that Eric has failed to beat this course so far and that he can take his foot off the gas a little bit. Uh, that vertical section, very tricky, but it looks like both our competitors were able to master it as Eric continues his lead on this race. This is not the outcome I was expecting so far. And keeping up the gas as Whoa. Noah goes right for zigzag and that forces Eric to go. He thought he had some time, but Noah proves him wrong. Uh, Noah was able to use that rooftop rumble as a running uh, uh, startup into the rope for the zigzag. And now Noah is in the lead heading into Monstro Climb. That goes to show you the speed of Noah Munier. He actually took a rest on boardwalk. Eric did not, but yet he is the fastest to the second crux point on this course, the Monstro Climb. So both men are allotted a 45 second rest at each rest point. Noah will have to start first because he got there first, assuming they both use their maximum time. And for these men, it is so much harder. They're gonna have a six foot and eight foot jump. And they are pretty much identical onto the six foot jump. Noah's got it. And he's got the eight footer. Now Eric on the six footer. No! no, he's down. Noah will reach up for the rope and that will finish off this race. And Noah taking his time getting to the rope and Actually, he's, not, I, yeah, he's not even gonna do it. He's gonna use the truss to get to the, get to dry land because he already knows that he reached the monstro climb first and thus secured the victory. I mean, they did use up a little bit of energy climbing up to the truss, but he wants to stay dry. I don't blame him. It saves a little bit of energy changing, I guess. But in any event, Noah Munier advancing to the second round as so many expected and looking very good doing it. You know what? I have to give Eric a lot of credit. He did not make this easy for Noah. He actually took the lead early on in the course, but Noah was just able to play super catch up, take the lead and complete what Eric could not. Oh, 100%. Eric brought the fight to Noah. And frankly, I don't think Noah was expecting to have to turn on the gas this soon. And he really did it after rooftop rumble. Well. It was a good look, and we're going to have to go. Hey, how's it going? Congratulations. Noah. He's moving on to the semifinals.